Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. How's it going? I hope that everyone is doing well during this COVID 19. All right, let's get into the work. Today's DMV handbook lesson is starting a page number 32. All right, so last lesson that we recovered until 32. If you guys remember, that was talking about traffic signs until here. And、um, if you would like to、um, renew the lesson, you can always go back to the video. Um, one、uh, video lesson number one. All right, so warning signs slippery when wet, merging traffic. So that means there is a traffic coming into the road from the right side, divided highway, sharp turn, look like sharp turn in the right side, two way traffic, lane ends. This is actually kind of a little difficult to me to understand. Pretty good. Pedestrian crossing, traffic signal had, and divided highway, edit lane. So, l o o k like edit lane is from the left side.、Um, crossroad, stop ahead, curve to the left. Directional arrow, yield ahead, T intersection, winding road. I do believe that we may go cover about T intersection later. Let's see what will happen. So, for always for more information, here's the website dot dot ca,、uh, what is California dot gov. All right, so it says a white rectangular sign indicates that you must obey important rules. Some warning signs have a fluorescent yellow green background. These signs warn of conditions related to pedestrians, bicyclists, schools, playgrounds, school buses, and school passenger loading zones. Obey all warning signs regardless of their shape or color. Refer to page 32 and the 33. So, all these warning signs that we need to be aware while we are in traffic. All right, laws and rules of the road, right of way rules, general information. Never assume other drivers will give you the right of way. Respecting the right of way of others is not limited to situations such as yielding to pedestrians in crosswalks or watching carefully to ensure the right of way of bicyclists and motorcyclists. Yield your right of way when it helps to prevent collisions. Pedestrians. A pedestrian is a person on foot or who uses a conveyance such as roller skates, skateboard, etc., other than a bicycle. A pedestrian can also be a person with a disability using a tricycle, quadricycle, or wheelchair for transportation. If you approach a pedestrian crossing at a corner or other crosswalk, even if the crosswalk is in the middle of the block, at a corner with or Without traffic signal lights, whether or not the crosswalk is marked by painted lines, you are required to exercise caution and reduce your speed or stop, if necessary, to ensure the safety of the pedestrian. Do not pass a vehicle stopped at the crosswalk. A pedestrian you can't see may be crossing the street. Stop and proceed when all pedestrians have crossed the street. Do not drive on the sidewalk except to cross it. 
to enter or exit a driveway or alley. When crossing, yield to all pedestrians. Do not stop in a crosswalk. You will place pedestrians in danger. Remember, if a pedestrian makes eye contact with you, they are ready to cross the street. Yield the pedestrian. Allow sufficient time to cross the street for older pedestrians, disabled pedestrians, pedestrians with young children. Obey signs pertaining to pedestrians. Examples include. Here, state law, to within the crosswalk. When a blind person pulls in their can and steps away from the intersection, this gesture usually means for you to go. Additional information regarding blind pedestrians can be found on page eighty. We'll go. Excuse me. We'll go there. Important. Blind pedestrians rely on the sound of your vehicle to become aware of your vehicle's presence and the sound of the pedestrian signal to know when they are able to safely cross the street. It's important that you stop your vehicle within five feet of the crosswalk. Drivers of hybrid or electric vehicles must remain especially aware that the lack of engine or electric motor noise may cause a blind pedestrian to assume there is not a vehicle nearby. Crosswalks: A crosswalk is the part of the roadway set aside for the pedestrian traffic. When required to stop because of a sign or signal, you must stop before the stop line, crosswalk, stop sign, or signal. You must yield to pedestrians entering or in this crosswalk. Not all crosswalks are marked. If there is a stop line before the crosswalk, the stop line must be avoided. First, although pedestrians have the right of way, they also must abide by the rules of the road. If you approach a crosswalk while driving, you are required to exercise caution and reduce your speed to safeguard the pedestrian. You may need to stop to ensure the safety of the pedestrian, as outlined in CVS 219.50. Crosswalks are often marked with white lines. Yellow crosswalk lines may be painted at school crossings. Some crosswalks have. Flashing lights to warn you that pedestrians may be crossing. Look for pedestrians and be prepared to stop, whether or not the lights are flashing. Intersections. An intersections is any place where one line of a roadway meets another roadway. Intersections include cross streets, side streets, alleys, freeway entrances. And any other location where vehicles traveling on different highways or roads join each other, at intersection without stop or yield signs, slow down and be ready to stop. Yield to traffic and pedestrians already in the intersection or just entering the intersection. Also, yield to the vehicle or bicycle that arrives first, or to the vehicle or bicycle on your right if it reaches. The intersection at the same time as you. At T intersections, without stop or yield signs, yield to traffic and pedestrians on the through the road. They have the right of way when you turn left. Give the right of way to all vehicles approaching that are close enough to be dangerous. Also, look for motorcyclists, bicyclists, and pedestrians. Safety suggestion. While waiting to turn left, keep your wheels pointed straight ahead until it's safe to start your turn. If your wheels are pointed to the left and the vehicle hits you from behind, you could be pushed into oncoming traffic. When you turn right, be sure to check for pedestrians who want to cross the street and bicyclists riding next to you. On divided highways or highways with several lanes, watch for vehicles coming in any lane you cross. Turn either left or right only when it's safe. When there are stop signs at all corners, stop first and then follow the rules listed above. If you park on the side of the road or are leaving a parking lot at, yield to traffic before entering the road. Roundabouts, multiple and single lane roundabout. A roundabout is an intersection where traffic travels around a central island in a counterclockwise direction. 
Vehicles or bicycles entering or exiting roundabout must yield to all traffic, including pedestrians. Driving in roundabout, slow down as you approach the roundabout. Yield to pedestrians and bicyclists crossing the roadway. Watch for signs and or pavement markings that guide or prohibit certain movements. Enter the roundabout, heading to the right when there is a big enough gap in traffic to merge safely. Travel in counterclockwise direction. Don't stop or pass. Signal when you change lanes or earth. Exit the roundabout. If you miss your exit, continue around until you return to your exit. For roundabouts with multiple lanes, choose your entry or exit lane based on your destination as shown in the graphic. On mountain roads, when two vehicles meet on a steep road where neither vehicle can pass, the vehicle facing downhill must yield the right of way by backing up until the vehicle going uphill can pass. The vehicle facing downhill has the greater amount of control when backing up at the hill. Speed limits. California's basic speed law means that you may never drive faster than is safe for current conditions. Regardless of this posted speed limit, your speed should depend on the number and speed of other vehicles on the road. Whether the road surface is smooth, rough, gravel, wet, dry, wide, or narrow. Bicyclists or pedestrians on or crossing the roadway, whether it's raining, foggy, snowing, windy, or dusty. Unless otherwise posted, the maximum speed limit is 55 mph on a two-lane undivided highway and for vehicles towing trailers. Reduce speeds. Heavy traffic or bad weather, you must drive slower when there is a heavy traffic or bad weather. However, if you block the normal and reasonable movement of traffic by driving too slowly, you may be seated. If you choose to drive slower than other traffic, don't drive in the number one lane. That's a fast lane. Refer to the choosing a lane section on page 47. We'll go there. Um... I believe that today's lesson as well. When another driver is close behind you and wishes to drive faster, you should move to the right. Towing vehicles, buses, or large trucks. When you tow a vehicle or trailer or drive a bus or three or more axle truck, you must drive in the right most line, most lane or in a lane especially marked for slower vehicles. If no lanes are marked and there are four lanes or more in your direction, you may only drive in either of the two lanes closest to the right edge of the road. Pedestrians, bicyclists, or other vehicles alongside you may experience sudden strong winds when passing or being passed. Slow down and pass safely and pass only at safe distance 30 feet or more for bicyclists. Around children, when driving within the 500 to 1,000 feet of a school, white children, while children are outside or crossing the street, the speed limit is 25 mph unless otherwise posted. Also, if the school grounds have no fence, and children are outside, never drive faster than 25 mph. Some school zones may have speed limits as low as 15 mph near schools. Look for bicyclists, pedestrians, school safety patrols, or crossing guards. Be sure to obey their directions. For the crossing guards' safety, allow them to safety safely get to the side of the road before driving ahead. Stop school buses and children crossing the street. Some school buses flash yellow lights when preparing to stop to let children off the bus. The yellow flashing lights warn you to slow down and prepare to stop. When the bus flashes red lights located at the top front and back, top of, back of the bus, you must 
stop from either direction until the children are safely across the street and the lights stop flashing. The law requires you remain stopped as long as the red lights are flashing. If you fail to stop, you may be fined up to a thousand dollars, and your driving privilege could be suspended for a year. One year, if the school bus is on the other side of a divided multi-line, two or more lanes in each direction, you don't need to stop. All right, when red lights are flashing, there's no passing in either direction. Blind intersections. The speed limit for a blind intersection is 15 mph. An intersection is considered blind if there are no stop signs at any corner and you can't see for 100 feet in either direction during the last 100 feet before crossing. If your view is blocked, move slowly forward until you can see. Alice. The speed limit in any alley is 15 mph, near railroad tracks. The speed limit is in 15 mph within 100 feet of a railroad crossing where you can't see the tracks for 400 feet in both directions. You may drive faster than 15 mph if the crossing is controlled by gates, a warning signal, or a flagman. At railroad or train crossings, look in both directions and listen for trains. Many crossings have multi multiple tracks, so be ready to stop before crossing, if necessary. Cross railroad tracks only at des designated, designated crossings and only when it's safe to do so. Expect a train on any track at any time. Traveling in either direction, if you need to stop after crossing the tracks, wait until you can completely cross the tracks before proceeding. Make sure your vehicle clears the tracks before you stop. Never stop on the railroad tracks if you are on the tracks. You risk injury or death. Watch for vehicles that must stop before the cross train tracks. These vehicles include buses, school buses, and tracks, transporting hazardous loads. Remember that flashing red traffic signal light, lights mean stop. Stop at least 15 feet, but no more than 50 feet. From the nearest track, when the crossing devices are active or a person warns you a train is coming, stop if you see a train coming or you hear the whistle, horn, or bell of an approaching train. Don't go under lowering gates or around lower gates. Flashing red warning lights indicate you must stop and wait. Do not cross it over the railroad tracks until the red lights or lights stop flashing, even if the gate rises. If the gates are lowered and you do not see a train approaching, call the Posta Railroad Emergency Toll free number or 911. Be ready to give a detailed description of your location. Light rail transit vehicle crossings. The same rules apply to light rail transit vehicle crossings as to train crossings. Note, light rail transit vehicles are very quiet and accelerate more quickly than trains, near street cars, trolleys, or buses. The passing speed limit when safe to pass is no more than 10 mph. The speed limit applies a safety zone or intersection where a streetcar trolley or bus is stopped and traffic is controlled by a peace officer or traffic signal light. A safety zone is marked by raised buttons or markers on the road and set aside for pedestrians. <clears throat> Excuse me. You will most often see safety zones in areas where streetcars or trolleys and vehicles share the road roadway. Business or restriction district, the speed limit is 25 mph unless otherwise posted. Near animals. If you see a sign with a picture of an animal, 
Be alert for possible animals in or near the roadway. If you see animals or livestock near the roadway, slow down and proceed with caution. Be sure to follow directions from the person in charge of the animals. If you see a stray animal in your path, slow down or stop if it's safe. Do not swerve as you may lose control of your vehicle and cause an accident. Be aware of sudden movements from the animals as they are unpredictable and may run into the roadway. Visual search, scanning. Scanning your surroundings, keeping your eyes moving, includes keeping a safe distance around your vehicle. When another driver makes a mistake, you need time to react. Give yourself this reaction time by keeping enough space on all sides of your vehicle. The space will give you a room to break or maneuver if necessary. Know what's ahead. To avoid last-minute moves, scan the road 10 to 15 seconds ahead of your vehicle so you can see hazards early. Constantly staring at the vehicle or road right in front of your vehicle is dangerous. As you scan ahead, be alert for vehicles around you. Use your mirrors, know what's behind you so you can prepare for what's ahead. Take in the hall scene. If you only look at the middle of the road, you will miss what's happening on the side of the road and behind you. Scanning helps you to see cars, motorcycles, bicyclists, pedestrians, and animals that may be in the road by the time you reach them. Signs warning of problems ahead. Signs giving you directions. Before changing lanes, look into your rear mirror for nearby vehicles and over your shoulder to check for blind spots. See the yellow area in the image below. So basically know the areas of your vehicle. Green is what's ahead. Blue is what's at your side. Yellow is blind spots, no zones. Red is what's behind you. So the shaded areas are your blind spots. Hmm. Interesting. So the second photo is showing that where is our blind spot? It says yellow is so then here's our blind spot in the yellow color. Uh, for the second photo, Hmm. Is I they look a little different, didn't it? Yeah, they are. Okay. Watch for hazards. Look beyond the vehicle ahead of you. Do not develop a fixed stare. Check your rear view view mirrors so you know the position of vehicles near you. On the freeway, be ready for change in traffic conditions. Watch for signals from other drivers. Expect merging vehicles at on-ramps and interchanges. Be prepared for rapid change in road conditions and traffic flow. Know which lanes are clear so you can use them if necessary. Don't be a tailgater. Many drivers follow too closely and are not able to see as far ahead as they should because the vehicle ahead blocks their view. If a vehicle merges in front of you too closely, take your foot off the accelerator. This gives space between you and the vehicle ahead without having to slam on your brakes or swear into another lane. To avoid tailgating, use the three-second rule. When the vehicle ahead of you passes a certain point, such as a sign, count 1001, 1002, 1003. This takes approximately 3 seconds. If you pass the same point before you finish counting, you are following too closely. You should allow for more space when a tailgate is behind you. Allow extra space ahead and don't break suddenly. Slow down gradually or merge into another lane to prevent collision with the tailgater. Driving on slippery roads. 
Following motorcyclists or bicyclists on wet or icy roads, metal surfaces, surfaces, for example, bridge gratings, railroad tracks, attic, and gravel. Motorcyclists and bicyclists can fall easily on these surfaces. The driver behind you wants to pass a low room in front of your vehicle so the driver will have space to move in front of you. Towing a trailer or carrying a heavy load, the extra weight makes it harder to stop. Following large vehicles that block your view head, the extra space allows you to see around the vehicle. You see a bus, school bus, or play-carded vehicle at railroad crossings. These vehicles must stop at railroad crossings, merging onto a freeway. Know what's at your side. Any time you come to a place where people may cross or enter your path or a line of traffic meets another, you should look to the left and right sides of your vehicle to make sure no one is coming. Always look to each side of your vehicle at intersections, crosswalks, at railroad crossings. At intersections, look both ways even if other traffic has a red traffic signal light or stop sign. Look to the left first. Since vehicles coming from the left are closer to you than vehicles coming from the right. Look to the right. Take one more time. Look to the left in case there is a pedestrian bicyclist or a vehicle you didn't see the first time. Don't rely on traffic signal lights. Some drivers don't obey traffic signal lights. Before you enter an intersection, look left, right, and head for approaching traffic. To maintain enough space on each side of your vehicle. Do not stay in another driver's blind spot. The other driver may not see your vehicle and could change lanes and hit you. Avoid driving directly alongside other vehicles on multi-lane multi -lane streets with or without traffic in the opposite direction. Another driver might craft your lane or change lanes without looking and crashing to you. Drive either ahead of or in behind the other vehicle. If possible and when safe, make room for vehicles entering freeways even though you have the right of way. A freeway exits, don't drive alongside other vehicles. A driver may decide to exit suddenly or swear back onto the freeway. Keep a space between your vehicles and parked vehicles. Someone may step out from between them. A vehicle door may be open or a vehicle may pull out suddenly. Be careful when driving near motorcyclists or bicyclists. Obviously, plenty of room between your vehicle and many motorcyclists or bicyclists. Know what's behind you. It's very important to check behind you before you change lanes. Look over your shoulder to make sure you are not getting in the way of vehicles in the lane you want to enter. Reduce your speed. Take a quick look in your mirrors. Also check your mirrors when preparing to turn into side road or driveway and when stopping to pull into a parking space. Drive down a long or steep hill. Watch for large vehicles because they can gather speed very quickly. Back up. Backing up is always dangerous because it's hard to see behind your vehicle. When you're backing out of a parking space, check in front and behind the vehicle before you get in. Know where your kids are, make sure they're away from the vehicle and in full view before moving your vehicle. If other children are nearby, make sure you can see them before backing up. Do not depend only on your mirrors or only looking out a side window. Turn and look over your right and left shoulders before you begin backing. As a safety measure, look over your right and left shoulders again while backing. Back slowly to avoid collisions. Check traffic behind you often to know if you are being tailgated and another driver is following too closely. If you are being tailgated, be careful. Brake slowly before stopping. Tap your brakes lightly a few times warn the tailgate you are slowing down. Lose the tailgate as soon as you can. Change lanes and allow the tailgate to pass you or slow down to allow enough space between you and the car in front of you. If this doesn't work, Pull off the road when it's safe and let the tailgate pass. How well can you stop? 
If something is in your path, you need to see it in time to stop, assuming you have good tires, brakes, and dry pavement. At 55 mph, it takes about 400 feet to react and bring your vehicle to a complete stop. At 35 mph, it takes about 210 feet to react and bring your vehicle to a complete stop. Adjust your driving speed to the weather and road conditions refer to the basic speed law in the speed limit section on 37. Turn on your lights during the day. If it's hard to see your or you can't see at least 100,000 feet ahead of you. So at 55 mph, it takes about 400 feet to react and to bring your vehicle to a complete stop. At 35 mph, it takes about 210 feet to react and bring your vehicle to a complete stop. So it really depends on what's your speed when it comes to quickly stop. All right, so the next subject is lane control, lane, line colors. Solid yellow lines mark the center of a road used for two-way traffic. Broken yellow lines indicate that you may pass if the broken line is next to your driving line lane. Two solid yellow lines indicate no passing. Never drive to left of these lines unless you are in a carpool lane, high occupancy vehicle lane that has a de de designated entrance on the left. Instructed by construction or other signs to drive on the other side of the road because your side of the road is closed or blocked. Turning left across a single set of double yellow lines and to enter or exit a driveway or private road or make a U-turn. Two sets of solid double yellow lines spaced two feet or more apart are considered a barrier. Do not drive on or over this barrier. Make a left turn or a U-turn across it except the designated openings. Solid white lines mark traffic lanes going in the same direction such as one-way streets. Broken white lines separate traffic lanes on roads with two or more lanes in the same direction. Double white lines are two solid white lines that indicate a lane barrier between a regular use and preferential use lane. Use as a, such as a carpool. Never change lanes while in these lanes. Wait until a single broken white line, line appears. You may also see these parallel lines in or near freeway on and off ramps. Choosing a lane. So here is example of numbered traffic lanes 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Traffic lanes are often referred to by number. The left or fast lane is called the number one the lane to the right of the number one number one lane is called the num number one lane and then the second one is called number two lane then the next one is number three lane attic drive in the lane with the smoothest flow of, tra of traffic if you could if you can choose among three lanes pick the middle lane for the smoothest driving to drive faster pass or turn left use the left lane when you choose to drive slowly enter or exit traffic on the right turn right park or move off the road use the right lane if there are only two lanes in your direction pick the right lane for the smoothest driving do not weave in and out of traffic stay in one lane as much as possible once you start through an intersection keep going If you start to make a turn, follow through. Last minute changes may cause collisions. If you miss a turn, continue until you can safely and legally turn around. Changing lanes. Changing lanes includes moving from one lane to another, entering the freeway from an on-ramp, entering the road from a curb or the shoulder before changing lanes signal, Look in all your mirrors and check traffic behind beside you. 
Look over your shoulder in the direction you plan to move to make sure the lane you want is clear. Check for vehicles, motorcyclists, and bicycle traffic in your blind spot. Be sure there is enough room for your vehicle in the next line. Passing lanes. Before you pass, look ahead for road conditions and traffic that may cause other vehicles to move into your lane. Never drive off the paved or main travel portion of the road or on the shoulder to pass. The edge of the main travel portion of the road may have a painted white line on the road surface. Passing other vehicles at crossroads, railroad crossings, and shopping center entrances is dangerous. Pass traffic on the left, you may pass on the right only when an open highway is clear, clearly marked for two or more lanes of travel in your direction. The driver had of you is turning left and you don't drive the roadway to pass. Never pass on the left if the driver is signaling a left turn. Careful high occupancy vehicles lanes. An HOV lane is a special lane used only for carpools, buses, motorcyclists, or decayed low emission vehicles. You may use a careful HOV lane or on-ramp if your vehicle carries the posted minimum number of people required for the, co- for the carpool, carpool lane or you drive a low emission or a zero emission vehicle displaying a special DMV issue decal. If you operate a low emission, zero emission and or hybrid vehicle, you may be exempt from all toll charges on high occupancy toll lanes. Motorcyclists may use des- designated carpool HOV lanes unless otherwise Posted signs at the on-ramp or along the freeway tell you the minimum number of people per vehicle required for the carpool. The signs also list the days of the week and the hours when the carpool requirement applies. The pavement in this lane is marked with the diamond symbol and the words carpool lane. These lanes are also known as HOV lanes don't cross over double parallel solid lines to enter or exit any carpool. HOV lane except except the at designated entry or exit places. So here is the sign triangle left lane. And when HOV two plus two or more only when met meter meter meter. All right. So just for your FYI, we are going to cover today until page number 52, I believe. Yeah, let's do until 53. And then we're going to do parking next lesson. And then after 53, we are going to take the DMV pre written test um, number one. Even though we have worked last l- number one lesson. However, we would like to practice it again to make it perfect. All right, where were we? Where were we? All right, center left turn lanes. A center left turn lane is located in the middle of a two-way street and is marked on both sides by two painted lines. The inner line is broken and the outer line is solid. If a street has a center left turn lane, you must use it to prepare for or make a left turn or prepare for or make a permitted U-turn. You may only drive for 200 feet in this center left turn lane. This is this lane is not a regular traffic lane or a passing lane. To turn left from this lane, signal look over your shoulder and drive completely inside the center left turn lane. Do not stop with the back of your vehicle blocking traffic. 
make sure the lane is clear in both directions and then turn only when it's safe. Look for vehicles coming toward you in the same lane, preparing to start their left turn. When, dur- when turning left from a side street or driveways, signal and win- wait until it's safe. Then you may drive into that center left turn lane. Enter traffic only when it's safe. Turn out areas and lanes. Special turnout areas are sometimes marked on two lane roads like this. Slower traffic use turnouts. Drive into these areas to allow cars behind you to pass. Some two lane roads have passing lanes. If you are driving slowly on a two lane highway or road where passing is unsafe, and five or more vehicles are following, you must drive into the turnout areas or lanes to let the vehicle pass. Vehicles pass. End of lane markings. So if you see here, exit one and a four mile. Freeway lanes, as well as some city street lanes, which are ending, will usually be marked by large broken lines painted on the pavement. If you are driving, in a lane marked with these broken lines, be prepared to exit the freeway or the lane to end. Look for a sign that tells you to exit or merge at right here. Yield lines. Yield lines, also known as a shark teeth, consist of a line of solid white triangles across a lane of traffic pointing towards approaching vehicles. This line indicates the point where the vehicle must yield stop right here bicycle lanes a bicycle lane is designated traffic lane for bicyclists defined by pavement markings and signage bicycle lanes are sometimes painted a bright green color to increase visibility there are multiple classes and types of bicycles lane lanes including including bike lane established long streets adjacent to vehicle traffic typically defined by a single solid white line that turns into a dashed line near an intersection buffered bike line provides greater separation from the adjacent vehicle traffic as well as on street parking by using chevron or diagonal markings bike road at Designated preferred road for bicyclists on streets shared with vehicle traffic established by placing bike road signs and or shared roadway markings. Bicycle Boulevard A designated preferred road for bicyclists on streets shared with vehicle traffic intended to prioritize bicycle travel. Separated bikeway, also known as a cycle track or protected bike line for the exclusive use of bicyclists and physically separated from vehicle traffic. The separation may include flexible flex, flexible paths, excuse me, great separation in flexible barriers or on street parking, shared roadway bicycle markings, shiros, alerts, traffic that bicyclists are allowed to occupy this travel lane. When used appropriately, sheriffs can also help bicyclists to maintain a safe lane position. It's illegal to drive in a bicycle lane unless parking, entering or leaving the roadway or turning within 200 feet of the intersection where permitted. Drivers of motorized bicyclists should use caution to avoid bicyclists and use bike lanes at a speed that is reasonable and doesn't endanger the safety of bicyclists. Turns. Example of a left turn. It says that do not cut corner. Left turns. To make a left turn, drive close to the center divider line or into the left turn lane. Begin signaling about 100 feet before the turn. Look over your left shoulder and reduce your speed Stop behind the limit line, look left, right, and then left again. And make the turn when it's safe. When you turn left, do not turn too soon and cut the corner of the lane belonging to the vehicles coming towards you. Important. Keep your wheels pointed straight ahead until it's safe to start your turn. 
If your wheels are pointed to the left and the vehicle hits you from behind, you could be pushed into oncoming traffic. A left turn against a red light can only be made from a one-way street onto a one-way street. Signal and stop for a red traffic light at the marked limit line. If there is no limit line, stop before entering the crosswalk. If there is no crosswalk, stop before entering the intersection. You may turn left into left moving, one-way straight. If there is no sign prohibit the turn. Yield to pedestrians, bicyclists, or other vehicles moving on their green light. Right turns. To make a right turn, drive close to the right edge of the road if there is a bike lane. Drive into the bike lane no more than 200 feet before the turn. Watch for pedestrians, bicyclists, or motorcyclists who may get between your vehicle and the curb. Begin signaling about 100 feet before the turn. Look over your right shoulder and reduce your speed. Stop behind the limit line. Look both ways and turn when it's safe. Don't turn wide into another lane. Complete your turn in the right lane. Example of a right turn right here. The photo is showing us. It says do not turn wide. 200 feet is over half the length of an American football field. Okay. Public transit bus lanes. It's illegal to drive, stop, park or leave a vehicle standing in the area of a road designated for the exclusive use of public transit buses unless the vehicle must cross the lane to make a turn. Signs will be posted to indicate the lanes are for bus only. Right turns against a red traffic signal light. Signal and stop for a red traffic signal light at the marked limit line. If there is no limit line, stop before entering the crosswalk. If there is no crosswalk, stop before entering the intersection. You may turn right if there is no sign to prohibit the turn. Yield to pedestrians, motorcyclists, bicyclists, or other vehicles moving on their, their green traffic signal light. Right turns onto a road with a dedicated lane. You may make a right turn without stopping if the road you are turning onto has a non-merging non -merging lane dedicated to right turning vehicles and there is no sign to private free right turn. You may proceed without stopping even if there is a red traffic signal light located within the island for vehicles proceeding straight through the intersection. If there is a traffic signal light or sign on the right curb of the right turn lane, you must follow the directions of that traffic signal light or sign. Always yield to pedestrians within the crosswalk. No turns against a red arrow. You may not turn right or left against a red arrow. Examples of right and um, left turns. Numbers on the cars in the diagrams refer to numbered sentences on these pages. Always use your turn signals. Left turn from a two-way street. Start the turn in the left lane closest to the middle of the street. Complete the turn, if safe, in either lane of the cross street, shown by the arrows. Use the center left turn lane if one is available. A left turn may be made from the other lane if permitted by signs or arrows. Right turn. Begin and end the right turn end the turn in the lane nearest the right edge of the road. Do not swing wide into another lane of traffic. Watch for a pedestrian, motorcyclist, and bicyclist between your vehicle and the curb. Sometimes, signs or pavement markings will let you turn right from another lane as shown by the graphic. Left turn from a two-way street into a one-way street. Start the turn from the lane closest to the middle of the street. Turn into the lane that is safely open as shown by the arrows. Left turn from a one-way street into two-way street. Start the turn from the far left 
lane turn into in either of the lanes that are safely open as shown by the arrows. Left turn from a one-way street into a one-way street. Start the turn from the far left lane. Watch for pedestrians, motorcyclists, and bicyclists between your vehicles and the curb because they can legally use the left turn lane for their left turns. Turn into any lane that is safely open as shown by the arrows. Right turn from a one-way street into a one-way street. Start the turn in the far right lane. If safe, you may end the turn in any lane. Sometimes signs or pavement markings will let you turn right from another lane as shown by the graphic. Turn at a T intersection from a one-way street into a two-way street. Look for through traffic that has the right of way. You may turn either right or left from the center lane. Watch for vehicles, motorcyclists, and bicyclists inside your turn. Legal U-turn. A U-turn is turning your vehicle around in the street to go back the way you can. To make a U-turn, signal and use the far left lane or the center left turn lane. You may make a, a legal U-turn across a double yellow line when it's safe and legal. In a residential district, if there are no vehicles approaching you within 200 feet, whenever traffic sign light or traffic signal light protects you from approaching vehicles, at an intersection on a green traffic signal light or green arrow unless a no U-turn sign is posted. On a divided highway, only if an opening is provided in the center divider. All right. Thank you everyone so much being with me with our DMV handbook lessons and uh, nice. We're going to go to illegal U-turns uh, to our next DMV handbook lessons and let's go to our test. DMV pre-written California test. Uh, so these tests are available on California official website. Sample class C drivers written test number one. You may drive off of the paved roadway to pass another vehicle. If A, if the shoulder is wide enough to accommodate your vehicle. B, if the vehicle had of use turning left. C, under no circumstances. So we are going to choose under no circumstances because the California handbook tells that we may drive we may not drive off the paved roadway to pass another vehicle S question number two you are approaching a railroad crossing with no warning devices and are unable to see 400 feet down the tracks in one direction the speed limit is a 15 mph b 20 mph c 25 mph as you guys remember, today's lesson that we recovered this information that 15 mph. Question number three. When parking your vehicle parallel to the curb on a level street, A. Your front wheels must be turned toward the street. B. Your wheels must be within 18 inches of the curb. C. One of your rear wheels must touch the curb. If you remember, we recovered this, I think, the first lesson. And also, we are going to talk more about the next lesson as well. So the correct answer is, your wheels must be within 18 inches of the curve. Number question four, question number four, sorry. When you are merging onto the freeway, you should be driving A, 
at or near the same speed as the traffic on the freeway, b, 5 to 10 mph slower than the traffic on the freeway, c, the posted speed limit for traffic on the freeway. So one more time, let's repeat the question for us. When you are merging onto freeway, you should be driving at or near the same speed as traffic on the way, freeway. Let's choose the first one. California law says that we need to um, drive past the limit for traffic on the freeway, but and also at the same time, we need to be aware of the con uh, current condition as well. But as long as same speed as the traffic on the freeway. Okay. All right, let's see. I, maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Question number five. When driving in fog, you, sh you should use your A, fog lights only, B, high beams, C, low beams. We're going to choose the low beams for the fog. A white painted curb means A, loading zone for freight or passengers, B, loading zone for passengers or mail only, C, loading zone for freight only. If you guys remember, we covered this lesson as well from the handbook. So we're going to choose loading zone for passengers or mail only. That a white painted curb. Question number seven. A school bus ahead of you in your lane is stopped with red lights flashing. A. Stop and process when you think all of the children have exited the bus. Slow to 25 mph and pass cautiously. Stop as long as the red lights are flashing. So if you guys remember, we recovered especially this information from the book today's lesson. So we are going to choose the C. Stop as long as the red lights are flashing. Question number eight. California's basic speed law says, A. You should never drive faster than positive speed limits. B. You should never drive faster than is safe for current conditions. C. The maximum speed limit in California is 15 mph on certain freeways. We are going to choose the second one because I, <clears throat> excuse me, I mentioned before that uh, on, on, in the book they were saying that we need to be, you know, matched with the current conditions. But and now I'm thinking about this question. Go back to the other one. Maybe we need to change. All right. When you're merging onto freeway, you should be driving the possible limit for traffic on the freeway. Mm, you know, let's choose this. And then let's see which one we are going to do wrongly. All right, question number nine. You just sold your vehicle. You must notify the DMV within A, five days, B, 10 days, C, 15 days. So it will be five days. To uh, question number 10, the last question number 10. To avoid last minute moves, you should be looking down the road to where your vehicle will be in about 10 to 15 seconds. That's absolutely just 10 to 15. Just, just memorize that. To avoid last minute moves, you should be looking down the road where your vehicle will be in about five, 10 to five, six, 15 seconds. All right. So these tests, ugh, tests are great because we can just submit it and see the results. All right, it says that, thanks for taking our sample test. You got nine correct out of 10. So let's see, you may drive off the pad roadway to pass another vehicle under no circumstances, correct? Question number two, you're approaching a railroad crossing with no warning devices and are unable to see 400 feet down the tracks in one direction. The speed limit is 15 mph. Ooh. Um, question number three, when parking your vehicle parallel to the curb on a level street, your wheels must be within 18 inches of the curb, okay? When you are merge, okay, so I told you guys, this is the one, all right. When you are merging onto freeway, you should be driving, we choose that same speed, 
the posted speed limit for traffic on the freeway. All right, we have to memorize that. It's just very confusing. Okay, so five, when driving in fog, you should use your low beams. Okay, white paint curb means slowing zone passenger mainly. Okay, seven, a school bus ahead of you in your lane stop with red lights flashing. You should stop. Slings. Yes. Number eight, base. California speed laws say you should never drive faster than it's safe for current condition. Okay, that's a basic speed law. The one that we did wrong was when you are merging into freeway, you should be driving the posted speed limit for traffic on the freeway. Okay, good to know. And the last one, last two questions are correct. Um, five days we need to notify the DMV when we sell our vehicle. And also we need to keep an eye 10 to 15 six where we're going to be in about before we do the last minute moves. All right, everyone. Thank you so much being with me um, through this journey. And um, well, I hope everyone prepare well for the written exam and practice, practice, practice. If you like it, like and subscribe. Bye-bye.